Cut to me looking like a crazy person. I'm a dog being crazy, as always. But today I'm just going to be reviewing the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion, which hopefully this is a good shade for me. I got shade in two. The Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. I'm gonna put this on half of my face, see how it works with the foundation, see if it makes that side of my face make the makeup last longer, you know, because everyone's talking about it, and we need to know because it's a super cheap primer if it works. And I'm gonna be reviewing the Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara because every time, you know, I see someone on YouTube and they have these super long, like, separated lashes, it turns out that they're saying that it's this mascara. So I really wanna try it. So I figured I might as well throw it into my first impression review. My face is freshly cleaned, if you can't tell. Crazy hair, everything, I'm wearing my pajamas. You know, let's really get into it. And then I have to like rush to like get ready and go to work. So I'm gonna do this rather quickly. Anyway, so this is the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. And a lot of YouTubers have been saying that this is just, oh, there's no, there's no like dispenser. You just gotta put it in your hand. And it's a pretty thin consistency. Let's see, so I'm just gonna put it on, ugh, hair in my mouth. Mm. Put it on the right side of my face. It, you don't need a lot. Like, you need the tiniest of bit. I grabbed too much. Um, my bad. I'm gonna have to find a tissue. <laughs> smells like a really sexy man. And I'm a very big, like, girl. I love scents. I think scents... I love a man that wears mm. cologne. Yeah, you tissue. I love a man that wears a good cologne. I know a lot of people don't like heavy scents. I am not one of those people. I'm not like super sensitive to a scent. Ugh. I'm not like super sensitive to a scent unless it's like really spicy and bleh. But this smells so good, so good. And it says that there's no drying alcohol in it. People say it's the glycerin in this post shave balm that really helps make your makeup stick to it, if that makes any sense. So I applied it to the right side of my face. We're gonna let it dry a minute. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open this cushion, this True Match Lumi cushion. And uh, cushions have are like kind of exploding in the US. They've been popular in Korea for quite some time and in Asian cultures. And it's just kind of now this past year really starting to explode. So they look really convenient. So you open up the cushion, you have this applicator here, which is just kind of like a spongy applicator, which you would think would be really shitty, but people keep saying that it's pretty good. So we're gonna find out. And then you lift up this, ooh, Lift up, compartment. You lift up the compartment there, and it says, close tightly after use. I think I can handle that. And, oh, there's a lot of product on this sticky thing. It looks like this is gonna be a good match for me. I kinda wanna take product off this sticky thing. This wasn't, this wasn't cheap right here. This was $16, which is a shit ton, in my opinion, for a drugstore foundation. I don't like to pay more than 12 at the drugstore. That's like my cutoff. I'm probably being really cheap right there. I don't know. You dab the puff into the foundation and we're, you're supposed to like press it on, they say. So I think overall this is a pretty good match for me. It might be a little bit pink for my undertones, but that's okay. I'm gonna bronze and stuff after I've gotten this on my face. It is a bit light. But hey, if it oxidizes, it'll be like a great match, right? I don't know, hopefully this, I don't like this. I don't, I'm just gonna like do it like this. You're supposed to use two fingers, but it kept falling off. And I have, I have little fingers, so it just kept getting all cattywampus. So I'm gonna do it this way, because I'm a rebel who does, who does what she wants. I'm a rebel who does what she wants. I just woke up, okay? I can film me unboxing at a different time, if you haven't guessed but I just wanted to like do this all for you in one go. Cause we know, you wanna know about this true match Lumi, who doesn't? It's not giving that much coverage. I'd say a light medium so far, but we'll see if it's buildable. And it, yeah, it's pretty Lumi-ness. Pretty Lumi-ness, get it? It was a joke. 
I know it's not luminous. Pretty luminous. As you can see, my nose is like super shiny. But that's okay. And if you guys are wondering, like I said, this is about $16.99 or something, and you only get half of a fluid ounce. Traditional foundations like at the drugstore are usually one fluid ounce, so you're getting half the product. I don't know how much like product you like squeeze onto your sponge because like you don't see like the actual drop amount because it disperses onto the sponge. So I don't know how long this is gonna last. It's kind of making my fingers sore. Next time I use this, I think I would use a beauty blender. Just so you know. Just so you know. But it does kind of get into your spaces pretty well. All right, I'm gonna zoom in so you can kind of see what one layer looks like. I feel like it applied about the same on either side. This is my primed side and this is my non-primed side. I'm out of frame. And you know, it is very luminous and I have like oily combo skin. So I'm definitely gonna be setting this with powder. I do that for all my foundations. Now let's just see real quick if we can build this up. I have like freckles down here. So we can see how much we can cover. Ugh, this applicator is obnoxious. Just so you know. Ugh, it just like slides down. People are like, it's a bit crazy. I mean, it built it up a little bit, but I don't think you're gonna get more coverage than, you know, a solid medium. It's not definitely not like those hyper pigmented foundations that are on the market today, like the Too Faced Born This Way or the Marc Jacobs Remarkable that you can really build up and just not see any defining features on your face. Jacobs Remarkable is like one of my absolute favorite foundations on the market right now. It's expensive. It's like $40 more expensive than this, but it's just, it's the greatest. It's the greatest. Okay, that is kind of two light layers on my face of the True Match Lumi Cushion. And I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my face. I'll be right back to apply this mascara, okay guys? Hang on. Okay guys, so this is the finished look after I finish the rest of my face. I must say that this is the most natural looking foundation that I think I've ever used like it just looks like my skin but if my skin was perfect kind of like when I wear the Urban Decay Naked foundation I really feel like it just looks flawless but you can see my natural skin shining through I really like that hopefully I didn't get too much bronzer on today I just went a little crazy anyway so I really like the finish and the look of this foundation I think maybe the prime side looks slightly more flawless than the right. I'm not sure. It might just be my crazy imagination because I got a crazy imagination. I don't know. But overall, so far I'm really liking this just as my first first impression. But of course we're gonna do a wear test and see how it lasts through my shift at work. When it starts to wear down, you know the drill. And I am going to apply this L'Oreal telescopic carbon black mascara i did not get it's not waterproof or anything oh it's like a telescope do you get it anyway not really like a telescope just it's like the shape of a telescope you get it okay i'm gonna zoom in so you can get a good look at what my lashes look like before the mascara and of course i'm gonna curl them because that's what a girl does. She curls her lashes. And if she doesn't, she's missing out. In my personal opinion, you don't have to do it. You can do you. Do what you want. I'm gonna try not to get out of frame. But I do get out of frame a lot. Is there a mirror up on this cushion? <gasps> There's a mirror. Good, so I can put this on without looking silly. This is what the brush looks like. I like this kind of brush personally. I think that it does a good job. Oh, there's a big bang in my face. Okay. I 
Wow, I think it does lengthen quite a bit. I think so far we're doing so good. Uh, I got mascara on my eyelid. Let's just spread that around, right? All right, I'll do the other one. Damn, dude, this is one coat. This looks good as fuck. Just saying. Wow, I am so impressed that one coat with like, one coat with literally no work. Like no work, I'm talking with my hands and you guys can't see them, with no work of trying to like separate or not have clumps and it just looks really good. It looks really good, that's pretty cool. Oh, and I'm going to put them on my bottom lashes today, even though I normally wouldn't because I don't usually wear them on my bottom lashes, just so we can see if we get any flakies. Do you know, like in the 1950s and stuff, like, oh, oh just poked myself. In like the 1950s and stuff, people didn't wear mascara on their bottom lashes usually, just on the tips, which is usually what I do. I look like a clown because I got mascara where I shouldn't have mascara on my eyelids. Get in your home. Oh Jesus, I can't get the brush back in. There we go. Ha! Adrian won mascara zero. I'll be right back. So it makes your bottom lashes look really long too. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna zoom you out. I don't know how I feel about how long and noticeable it makes your bottom lashes. Just because I normally don't put mascara down there. like every day, but so far I am loving this mascara. It's a bit amazing. I don't know. It's just, I feel like it looks really good in person. I'm hoping that it's coming off on camera as looking really good, but as long as this doesn't flake or, you know, fall into my eyes and burn them into little, little unseeable eyeballs, I don't know, this could be a new holy grail. We're gonna find out. Anyway, stay tuned for my updates throughout my shift and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, really quick update as my last check-in. I forgot to do a middle of the night check-in because we were super slammed at work. I'm at work. It's New Year's Eve, so it's just been kind of crazy at work, so I'm really sorry that it took me so long to check in. I have been continually checking on the foundation during my like lunch break, bathroom break, yada yada, so I have a pretty good handle on how it's worn throughout the evening, and the lighting isn't as good as it is at home here, obviously, because I don't have, you know, lights, like, on me, just kind of crappy indoor lighting, so for that I apologize, but overall, I think that the foundation wore well. It has obviously worn down on my face, but it has kind of faded away gracefully, if that makes sense. Like, you can definitely see more freckles and more redness than you can before, but it's 0610 in the morning, and I put this foundation on around 5 p.m. yesterday, so it's been about 13 hours, and it's just definitely worn well overall. Um, this foundation does transfer though, so definitely want to be careful um, with that, like if you're rubbing up on somebody or anything. Overall, I think it wore really well, even on my oily skin. I didn't do any touch-ups. I had some mild settling in my fine lines. I just buffed those away with my finger and I've been fine ever since. That was like kind of initially towards the start of my night. I actually really like this foundation. I definitely will wear this just kind of on a regular day, probably when I'm not going to be outside a lot because it is more dewy. I'll probably do it, you know, for work shifts or just running errands and stuff, but I do overall like the foundation. As for the primer, I don't think that my primed side looks any better than my non-prime side. The fact that I do have a little bit more scarring, a little bit more freckles on this side than I do on this side, but I think the makeup has worn the same on both sides of my face. Um, so I didn't really notice a the difference there, but I am going to keep experimenting with the Nivea um, Post Shave Balm to see if with other foundations it kind of helps more. Not sure yet. We'll have to see. And as for the mascara, I'm going to zoom in for you guys. I really like the mascara. I didn't have any flaking or anything. I have rubbed my eyes a little bit. But overall, like, 
it's perfection. It's just as great as my $24 roller lash, in my opinion. And I think I paid $8 for this uh, telescopic mascara. I'll put it down below in the description section. Uh, but I'll zoom in so you can get a good look at the mascara. But overall, it looks really good. I really like it. My lashes are nice and separated. It's worn well throughout the day, and I am loving this mascara. It's definitely my favorite uh, drugstore mascara, and quite honestly, I think I probably like it just as much as my Benefit Roller Lash. Pretty exciting. It's a good deal. It's going to wrap up my review of these three products for you. I'm sorry that I did this check-in so late. It was just so crazy, but I definitely wanted you guys to know that I do really like this foundation and that it has faded gracefully. Like, I don't have any obvious patches, you know, like you get with some foundation. Like, the Constance Foundation Art is kind of expensive, and I don't think there's a very good color selection. I am the second lightest shade, so if you're like a super ivory queen, you might not like this foundation. Of how many shades that there are available right now, and I will put that in the description box below for you guys, uh, but there wasn't a very wide range. Plus, it's almost $17, which I think is pretty expensive for a drugstore foundation that only gives you half of an ounce of product. Oh, that's definitely a con there. Really good for on the go, just shove it in your purse, but really it's up to you if that is what you're looking for. There are a lot of other kind of cushion type foundations out there in the world, so if you don't like the dewy finish or you don't like the color selection of the True Match Lumi cushion, definitely just kind of explore other options because there are a lot out there anyway i gotta go i gotta check on some peeps on my unit so uh give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video if you're interested in trying the foundation or the primer or the mascara and definitely check me out on facebook and instagram oh and subscribe to my channel for more videos every week i'll see you guys soon bye